praise God. Breathing is a miracle. We often don't think much about it and we just do it. It keeps us alive. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we have crossed five months and we are still breathing. It's only because of God's immense grace on us. And we have acquired it through God's word. Every time you breathe, give thanks to God. With a thankful note, let's meditate the promise for the month of June. It's from book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 27. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. This is a part of Moses' last word to the people of Israel. This is God's promise to the covenant people of God as they were about to reach the blessed and promised land. Here, Moses speaks about the arms of God. When we go through the Bible, which speaks about God's arm, it always mentions about the might and power of God's strength. It's clearly mentioned in many verses. Psalm 77 verse 15 says, With your mighty arm, you redeemed your people. Psalms 89 verse 21 says, his arm will strengthen us. And there are many other words which speaks about the strength of God. Let's go back to the promise verse. There are three important words that has to be meditated in special. The first word is arms. Here, the word arms is mentioned in plural form. It means that God will be all out there for you. It talks about the fullness of his strength. The next word to be noted is underneath. It means behind the heavens. God is with us and among us here on earth, showing and sharing his might and power throughout our life's journey. And the third important word that has to be noted is everlasting. It means God's strength is never exhausted. God's arm will provide you such a protection that nothing can shake you what a wonderful god we have my dear ones what a powerful god we are serving just imagine the context of hearing these words with moses their leader for 40 years dying and he is not going to enter the promised land with them just imagine the mindset of the people of israel and the, they are about to face many battles with the people of Canaan. How shattered they would be. And God speaks to them at the situation through his lovable man, Moses. How encouraging could have been this word to them at the situation. The same God is speaking to you and me today. The situation here is also same, my dear ones. We are also waiting for more and more battles yet to come because this is just a start. There are many battles yet to come. My dear ones, God says, I will be your refuge. I will protect you and I'll give you this protection under my everlasting arms. What a lovely God we have, my dear ones. God is speaking to you and me. When will you get this protection? I would like to share two important conditions to receive this protection from God. Number one, God will be your refuge when you belong to Him. Number two, God will be your refuge when you demand Him. Yes, the first point, when you belong to Him. He created us and we are His belonging. We are the sheep of His own pasture. You may be a teacher, lawyer or a manager, but first of all, you are one of God's chosen people. Nothing can erase the fact that you belong to God. Why? Because God made you to be His belongings by paying very sacred blood of Jesus Christ. But my question is, do you feel like you belong to God? Have you experienced the joy of belonging to God? Just think, my dear ones. If not, this is the right time to get transformed. Transform right now. Transform your hearts. The silly things around you may be looking so precious for you. 
sacrifice those silly things which breaks the relationship between you and god come closer to god and always show that you are god's belonging my dear ones if you belong to god completely then you will receive the refuge and strength from the everlasting arms of god the next condition is when you demand god demand your refuge demanding is your legal right we are legally saved by god's new covenant through the blood of jesus christ we have the covenant right it's clearly mentioned in the book of matthew chapter 16 verse 19 i will give you the key to the kingdom of heaven and luke 10 verse 19 says i have given authority to trample on snakes and scorpions you are all sons and daughters in the sight of god and you can demand your refuge but when can you demand only when your activities are pleasing to god only when you live according to god's will you can fearlessly demand god king david is a great example of someone who indirectly demand god's refuge in all his troubles and situation he'll just say he is my mighty rock he is my refuge he is my strength he is my power and he received the strength from god he really led a faithful life and he feared for god and his activities pleased god and so he had the right to demand god whenever he does a mistake immediately confess it and repent for the mistake that he had done and he will always try to be close with god and that is the reason why he demand the refuge from god's arm yes my dear ones god is your refuge it doesn't mean that you will not get any trouble some situations even in the midst of all those troubles god will be your refuge two conditions that i share here is you must belong to god and you must be able to demand god god's everlasting arms is wide open to give you protection support and strength i humbly request you to reside under his everlasting arm and enjoy the glorious mighty power of our father have a glorious month may god bless you all amen